Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to take a moment here to, to thank you for tuning in. And um, I know this isn't the way we like to teach and to, to get together, but it's all we can do right now. So um, let me know what you think. Do I need to make them a little easier or do I need to go a little deeper and explain things a little better? So please respond and let us know, okay? All right, so today I'm going to read for you a passage out of Malachi, chapter 3. Now Malachi, it's the last book of the Old Testament. Um, there's only four chapters, so we're going to chapter 3. And I'm going to start reading in verse 8. Will a mere mortal rob God, yet you rob me? But you ask, well, how are we robbing you? In tithes and offerings. You are under a curse, your whole nation, because you are robbing me. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will be not, not enough room to store it. I will prevent pests from devouring your crops, and the vines in your fields will drop their fruit before it is ripe. Will not drop their fruit before it is ripe, says the Lord Almighty. Then all nations will call you blessed, for yours will be a delightful land, says the Lord Almighty. This reading here is talking about something called a tithe. But, but what is a tithe? Is it the same thing as bringing an offering to God or, or giving to a need? A tithe is 10% of what we have, uh, of our earnings. We see in verse 10 that it says to bring the tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. The, the storehouse means the church. Not a building, the people. Though, though this is a practice from Old Testament times, we can still live by this today. As the, as the giving of a tithe or an offering is what we decide in our hearts to do. Now, in, in Bible days, they often gave tithes of their crops, their, their herbs, their fruit, and their grain. But today, we don't usually give a tithe of these things um, in our part of the world. Now, some parts they still may, I don't know. But tithe doesn't have to be money from our job that we do. It could be our time. It could also be our, our talents. But no matter from what, where it comes from, tithing and, and, and giving offerings needs to be given from a willing heart. We, we need to give out of a desire to bless others. We should not give out of pressure, but to give because we want to. And, and the important thing to remember about tithing is, is that when we live by this principle, we are putting God first, and we're trusting our needs to him. Even if we don't think we have much to give, we should still give as God prompts us to give, as, as God sees our hearts, and he will bless us more than we could ever know. Now, now, I can testify to God's blessings, and I've shared this with many of you in my Sunday school class. And, and I believe that God has done this because we have chose to put God first, and, and we give our tithes faithfully. Even though sometimes it was hard to do that, and, and that was what we had that week, but we still, in our hearts, we gave it to God. So for my challenge this week, I challenge you to look in your heart and see one of two things. One thing See if you're giving to God in any fashion at all. Are you giving him any tithe? And two, if you are, are you truly giving from the heart? Just something to think about. So till next time, remember, God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend. See you guys later.